Howdy, Possum Patty here. And well, I'm working on a lot of different things. I have a page I want to do in my journal here. This is the Be Beautiful Journal. I am working on my Hello Autumn Journal with the Nomis on it. And I am working on my, I must be nuts because I made another journal, journal. I did those painty papers the other day. Look how gorgeous. So I need to sew in signatures. I'm working on decorating the front cover. And like I said, I have a page to do. Well, I have a lot of pages to do. But I'm gonna try to get one done today. So come on along. So this is what I've done so far. I showed the cover to this the other day. I had sewed most of this together. And then what I did first was I just put some stitching on the back. And see where these blobs are? That's my fault because my sewing machine doesn't like it if the foot is up. And because I kept changing directions, sometimes I didn't put the foot down all the way. And so it made a little bubble there, but that's okay. That's the inside. And then on the cover, I said I was going to hand stitch these little gnome patches. So I cut some patches from a piece of material like that. And I put them on the front. And if you can see, I show it in the other camera. I hand stitched around it. And then I'm like, hmm, they're holding sunflowers. See on the back, they're holding sunflowers. I'm like, I have these Dollar Tree sunflowers somewhere. I went and found them. And I sewed those on by hand too. I know I could have like hot gun glued them on, but I was sewing. I was sitting on the deck. It's such a beautiful day today because the humidity has come down, the temperature has come down, and Mr. Possum and I were sitting on the deck and I said, I have some sewing I can do because I didn't feel like coming in the house. So I took this outside and did this sewing. It's amazing I got it done with TT supervising because, you know, she was all over the place. So that's what I've done on that. And I've have an idea I want to do with these signatures and I'm going to go do that now then I'm going to show you the progress I've made on the signatures for the I must be nuts journal and oh so we went to get some soda actually we didn't go get the soda we went to get some salt water taffy in a store that's pretty far away it's like well we have no place to go on a Sunday afternoon let's take a drive because this store is far away way out in the country you think I live in the country this store is way out in the country it's the kind of store that sells horse feed and chicken feed and tractor parts and but they have clothes they have candy they have ammunition they have bows and arrows and guns they have everything it's a country store and so Mr. Possum likes their saltwater taffy. So that was his excuse to go up there and look around. So while we were there, I saw these very interesting soda bottles. And, you know, we had party for mom. And people always bring, like, you know, their favorite beer or their wine coolers or whatever they're going to drink. And I saw this, and I'm like, I got to get that and bring that to the party and walk around with my own brew because I don't drink you know beer so this is soda this one was blue cream soda but it looked pretty nifty it looks like a beer bottle and the soda was very blue I have a picture of it somewhere and I want to put in my journal the picture of this bottle with the blue soda in it and they came in this pack mom and pop soda shop real soda made in real glass bottles and i love the colors on here it's so retro and you know i have that retro paper so it's going to be a very cool page and look it's got bubbles 
So, you know, that's going to be a really fun page. And I had already printed out the picture, so I wanted to get that page done and have a bunch of stuff to do for Mom's party. Plus, you know, more nature, more gardening. Always journaling, journaling, journaling. So I'm going to go over to the other camera and show you what I'm painting right now. And then I've got to do some work on those signatures. And then if I have time, I'm going to do that journal page. Almost everything on this cover so far is from the Dollar Tree. All the material, the sunflower, the pumpkin, the mushrooms, and the gnomes are all those little pieces of material you can get at the Dollar Tree. And for the front, I just cut out some patches of the gnomes and added those on. And these little sunflowers are so cute. I added those on too. And those are from the Dollar Tree. And my Hello Autumn is a little wooden uh, laser cut that's going to go on the front. This is also from a pack of sayings for the fall from the Dollar Tree. So a lot of stuff is from the Dollar Tree. And I gave this one coat of white and then I put some brown there. And I was really bad. I didn't let the white dry. But I'm using some Dollar Tree paint, but I didn't have an orange. So I was looking through the drawer for something that was orange. This says tangerine, and I don't know how dry it is. Let's see. This is very old. Somebody gave it to me because it was very old. And maybe I just need to mix it up. So I'm going to mix this up. I think it's just still usable. Let's put a glob in there. You don't need much. Don't need much. Yeah, somebody had a bunch of paint from their church project. And she was trying to get rid of it. So I help her throw out the ones that were no good and reconstitute some of the other ones. And then she gave me a bunch of them. So that was very nice of her. I'm going to make a mess here, aren't I? Okay, let's see. Get a brush. I got my paper towels standing by. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and paint this. I'm doing two different colors, so the brown will be on the orange background, and the orange will be on the darker background. And then I was thinking of adding some sparkle. So I will be back when this is dry to show you how that looks. And I'll have to put the journal together yet, too. So much to do. I am never bored. I am never bored. There is always some fun to be had, something to journal about. Even if it's just about the clouds or the butterflies, or what you had for dinner, <laughs> or soda you bought at the store. My goodness. Does not have to be a special occasion. And I have a page plan for my oatmeal. <laughs> not many people can say that. Because it is all journaling. It is all journaling. Okay, I think my Hello Autumn is dry enough now. I have these Spectrum Noir brush sparkly ink pens. I bought these quite a while ago. But there's still, feels like there's still enough in there. And I'm just going to go over what I've already painted to make this sparkly. Now this might take a little longer to dry than the paint, so I'll probably set this aside and put that journal together tomorrow. Well, 
once everything is dry and I'm going to go ahead and sew in the signatures on my nutty journal I might even want to give this two coats I don't know let's see we shall see But I thought that was a good idea to put an undercoat so this wouldn't all like immediately just sink into the wood. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay, let's try the brown. Shake it up. Okay, then we'll see how this looks when it dries. I may or may not give it another coat. Hello. I feel like these are very dark and these are not. So I don't know what that means. These need more ink on them. Oh, I could always give it a second coat, I guess. Okay, well just let that dry. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Oh, and I found this. I bought this at the Dollar Tree too, and it's a beautiful sunflower patch. I might put that somewhere. Okay, those are going to dry. While those are drying, I am going to do this. Well, I've got this put together lickety split. So the first thing I do is make a template and this was pretty easy because it was eight centimeters you find the middle I went over a centimeter and a half a centimeter and a half on each side I've got my four signatures fold it for the middle I came down about two centimeters and up about two centimeters and then I punched the holes in the spine And then I take it and I punch holes in each signature. And then I just sew it in. like my washi tape is coming up. I can put some glue on that. So this is just about six and a half by four and a half, a little bit more than four and a half. Just about, just about six and a half by four and a half. But the spine is huge. That is three and a quarter ish, three and a quarter ish. But this is my nutty journal. This is going to be for my nutty family, my nutty friends. Anything nutty that happens is going to go in here. Hmm, who will be the first to go in this journal? Come back tomorrow and you'll find out. Anyway, let me just show you a quick flip. I took that red envelope and I sewed it on here so it's sort of like a double pocket. And there are about five sheets in each signature. This is the wallpaper, the coloring book. And I really love this page. I took that envelope and I glued down the top. So I folded it over and glued it down. So the back of the envelope was orange and the front green. So I just love this mishmash of green, orange, pink, and purple on that page. Now remember, most of this is going to get covered up with junk anyway. 
And there's the coloring book. And there's the wallpaper. I didn't paint on the wallpaper, but look at the fun texture on that. I love that. I love that. And I made a couple extra sheets, so I made some belly bands and some different things. And I like the, the dendrites on this one. Look at that. I love that. I love that. That's the first signature I had. Uh, I think this was the first piece I painted on the film yesterday. And I just made a corner tuck there. Kind of brighten up that black. And this is one of my fave pages, too, because it's just got a lot of texture on there. And the smaller um, Braille pages, I kind of cut them up a little bit. And I actually sewed that this to this page uh, with the machine before I put this together. So this is like part of this page like a flip on that page. This page definitely needs some more added to it. This one's got some nice texture. These pages are good. This was the hummingbird page, but I uh, put the W from the Braille book there and I made a belly band there. This one's got some nice texture and color. And this one's got a lot of a lot of something going on on that page, but it's pretty. I like that. This is a crazy page. That might need more. I like the green and purple. Again, this is sewed on there. So this is like a flip belonging to this page. And the back of that with all that texture on there. And there's the other corner piece. This is very drippy. I like that. Very dark. Here's the other half of that red envelope. This is one of my fave, the way this Braille page came out. All the raised dots, you can see them. I just gave it a really funky texture on here. I really love that. And the center, I took two of the very thin craft papers, and I sewed them together, but I bent one under, so like... When you're doing like an altered book, you know how you make the tucks and pockets and things. So I sewed it there and I sewed it there and across the bottom. So I got two tucks there. So that counts as one page there. Oh, and here's the back. Look at this. Look at that. Awesome. I love that. I love that. This one's got paper towel texture on it. And I like all the drips on that one. And here's some more of that braille. I love how that came out. I gotta find, I think I have some more sheets of that somewhere. I gotta find that. Did a, a little bit of a belly band there. A lot of drippies here. Here's that owl. I love the way the owl came out. You know, when you paint outside, you have to be careful because um, when you bring it in, it looks a little darker than it did outside. And this has got some granulation going on. Some watercolors have a lot of granulation in them. And I like that. I like that. Here's another belly band. Some more braille. This is very cool. Look at the look at that. And it kind of looks like you're in a cave and you got some dendrites there. Very cool. Here's another piece of that paper I painted first. Purple and green. Get a lot of texture going on there. And this has got um, a tuck on the edge of the paper. This one could use something on it. Uh, I used a strip of that braille just to make a little pocket there. This is a very drippy paper. Love that. Texture there. Here's the other side of that wallpaper another drippy page oh this um paper that comes you know when you buy the colored cardstock and stuff from hobby lobby and the different stores these are from michael's these are from hobby lobby they're kind of plasticky especially this one from the paper studio 
so it's almost painting like on Yupo paper, which is a plasticky paper. So I did have a little bit of uh, fixative left and I sprayed this with a fixative. So hopefully it won't like come off when I'm working with it. You know how it is, it's hard to paint on plastic. And that is it. So this is gonna be my, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? This is gonna be my nutty journal. See, all the papers aren't the same size, so some signatures look a little smaller, but I tried to sort of center them according to size. Okay, where's all those bands I got the other day? Okay, here's one. It's funny, because I had orange thread in the machine because I was working on my fall journal, and so I just left the orange thread in there. And then I was doing the outside of the box, and I'm like, Ooh, orange, yes. <laughs> Let's put more orange. Planter's peanuts color. Okay. So, that is it. And that will get filled up with lots of fun. And I don't have a lot of time, so I might just start that page in my journal. So I've got this ready to go for tomorrow. I've got this, hmm, you know what, I think this does need a second coat. All right, so let's do this first. Because that looks a lot more sparklier than the other one. So I'm going to go quick and give this another coat to dry. So this, um, this journal cover... This will probably get put together tomorrow then. Okay, I'm going to put this aside and finish this tomorrow. Okay, I had planned another retro page right across from the one I did, which is here. And I was wondering if this would fit on there, and ooh, yes. So I'm going to pick out a paper from Candy Retro, put it down here, cover up this purple. I don't want that. And then I'm going to make a pocket, might be a sideways pocket, or this kind of pocket. I'm not sure. Wow, that's about the size of the whole page. If I want to get the bubbles in there. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take this carton apart, pick out a paper, and then I'll come back. Well, I think it's about time to put things away for tonight. Sorry, I didn't get anything done, but lots of fun started. Actually, no, I did. I finished my journal, didn't I? I finished my nutty journal. I uh, did a lot of work on my... Hello Autumn Journal, and I've started this page. I decided I'm going to use the same paper in the background because it's just lots of fun. And I cut the soda box down. I put some Tyvek there because I think I'm going to make a opening up kind of page here so I can get my bubbles in and my mom and pop. I could have made like a pocket. But I think I'm going to do something like this. But I am have to work on a little engineering here. I might want to put this fun page here because this is about soda. Eat at Joe's. I like this Flamingo Lounge. Drive-in bowling alley. Alright, so I'm going to end it here. It was a very busy day. Did some work come back tomorrow and I will finish this page do the first page in my nutty journal and get my other journal put together so I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling and thanks for coming along today bye bye